This is a video walkthrough of the Pemberton Elite 28 by 12 two bed from 2005. It's double glazed, it's got electric panel heaters and it's priced at 9950. So you're gonna have a quick look around, show you the condition and layout and point out a few things to you as we go. As you can see carpets in here, um, they're okay condition. They're obviously a little bit thin in places, need a bit of a clean, but it's just mostly the big thing there is obviously your, your carpet mat where it's been, it's um, stained. Um, so that's um, something just to point out. So you can see we've got quite a decent sized seating area along the front window here and then wrapped along there around the door side where you've got your little uh, dining table and a couple of stools. Um, but it's quite a generous sized seating area really. Upholstery, just looking at it. All looks okay. Uh, just look at the dining area as well. All your cushions look okay, so no problem there with any big rips or tears or anything like that. Um, obviously you've got curtains around the front, a um, little bit of damage there to the wallboard below the window. Nothing much really. But uh, it's a good um, spacious layout at the front here. Um, and then we've got two exterior doors in the caravan. We've got one that comes into the living room there. And then we do have one down the hallway as well. But just sitting here um, in the living area, you can see looking around that we've got um, a TV area there above the fire where the coaxial cable is with a couple of sockets. There's two sockets either side. It's quite handy. Um, gas fire there. And then you've got cupboards above and drawers around and things like that. You've got a little coffee table over in the corner there, which um, you could remove and fit some extra storage if you wanted to. Just to have a look at the doors and see about any delamination that might be occurring, because this sort of door is would be prone to it. So there's a bit there on the top of that door there. Um, a little bit on the corners of this one. None of them are too bad in terms of being badly gone. Um, the inside edge of this one maybe a little bit worse where it just sort of scrapes but none of them are completely gone um, the fire top is all okay and solid as are the sides so they're okay moving over here we have got a couple of low sockets there on the side I think they've added some extra sockets actually um, this door over here again a little bit on the edge but um, doesn't close because there's a glass shelf in there but a bit on the edge but none of them at all across the living area have completely gone uh, around the front moving then to the kitchen as you can see we've got a gas oven hob and grill there fitted in the corner got some cupboards uh, down below and above as well plus a drawer unit here and then you have got a fridge freezer in the corner so that's all quite good um, shelf over the top for a microwave so fairly spacious caravan in terms of um, you know kitchen cupboards and things these doors yeah you can see these kitchen doors are worse as you can see that's quite proper um, flapped on there and gone there so it's gone too far around the front on this one on these two um, as you can see to be able to be edged so those doors have gone there um, just looking at the top yeah, so a bit of delamination on some others, but you do have a couple there at least. And this door is pretty much fine, so you can see how they do vary by caravan and by door. Um, but those ones above. So often we say if you stripped all that plastic off, you could paint them. Um, in time, you could replace them. Um, it's also something we can do potentially. Um, it just all depends on what, you, um, what you're what you planning to do with the caravan. So we have that conversation with anyone who wants to buy it. See what your plans are, and then we can take it from there. Uh, vinyl in the kitchen there, all good. Your carpet from the living room continues towards the back here. Same carpet, your brown sort of colour. And then you've got a different carpet here by the other exterior door. Um, coming to the back then, so we've got a door there in the middle, which is our main bedroom. On our left-hand side here is our twin room. And then the bathroom's at the back of the caravan to our right-hand side. So the rear of the caravan on the door side is where the bathroom is. But just having a look at the main bedroom here. Um, neck curtains across, it was a little bit darker in here and it's um, just started raining here after what's been some lovely sunny days so it's a bit duller in here but just opening that to give it a bit more natural light and I'll step back again. Same carpet then through the living room area, hallway and into the main bedroom. Um, new carpet in here I think would really raise the caravan and the standard but up to the buyer. Um, doors across the top of the bed there, you've got some good storage above and then you've got some good storage to the side as well plus you've got this little cubby hole on the right hand side with 
um, sort of ledge and mirror so that's quite nice these doors are not going to delaminate they're a differently made door so you don't have to worry about any of the bedroom doors delaminating like the kitchen living area ones spinning around then we've got some good storage uh, for the main bedroom wardrobes here um see if i can up, open these so you've got some hanging wardrobe space there hanging space to the side and then you've got drawers below so really good storage in this main bedroom and it's a decent size um bed obviously with it being a 28 it's a bit shorter so they do have to make the most of the space um but i can walk up down the side of this bed and then you've got a bigger space over this side as well panel heater there obviously running off your electric um so that looks all clean and tidy coming back out there and we'll turn to our right and we'll look at the twin room um, so as it stands we've got it set up just with a twin bed um, it would have had two singles in here originally obviously with your two fabric headboards if you wanted us to remove this so you've got an empty room we could if you wanted us to fit an extra bed so you've got two we could do that as well or we can leave it completely as it is and uh, completely up to you um, but nothing else much to report in here other than bedside table there and then you've got um, wardrobe space which goes from ceiling to nearly the floor but then you've got a couple of drawers there as well so that's a good size storage unit mirror on the wall and then you've got your electric panel heater there just coming around to look at this bed i've just realized it's got a pull out bed underneath so you've actually got two beds in here ideal smashing so if you wanted to you could just keep it as it is and then when you've got guests if you want to use both of the beds pull the other one out stick that up next to it or leave it as it is so uh, forget everything i said about the beds you're good to go unless of course you want us to remove them <laughs> which we can take them out instead but um so turning then towards our other exterior door that you can see at the back here and then we've got our bathroom on our left so this as i say is on the the rear um door side of the caravan Stepping into the bathroom, we've got what you'd expect, a toilet and sink. And we've got a panel heater here on our left-hand side with towel rail attachment piece. And then here's our shower in the corner. It's a half sort of, um, so it got a sort of two-third sliding door there, which goes back. Um, and so it's a decent sort of um, entry there. And then we've got a decent sized shower cubicle as well, which got a plastic top on it. Which all looks fairly tidy, so that's a good sized shower. So nothing wrong there. So turning around then to um, go out the caravan, we do have a little cupboard on our right hand side, which is where our water heater is. It would be, but there's no water heater in here. That's been taken, um, perhaps for something else, or it might come in like that. So uh, we will have to fit a new one in there, or a second hand one, but that will have a working water heater when it's sold, so do not worry. Um, but as you can see, that's been removed. It does happen from time to time. Um, looking then at the door side of the caravan, um, the extractor flap over the top of the window there, the bathroom, that's had a little bit of damage um, done to it, so that needs replacing. That's something we will do. Needs a good clean, it's not had a wash or anything, but the back looks fairly tidy, clean of damage. The door side here looks quite clean for damage, um, nothing really to make you aware of. The front of the caravan, again, looks fairly clean. And then looking at the non door side fairly clean down there as well so no problems to report on damage wise other than that towards the back there on the door side where i said it's had a little nick on the uh, uh bathroom extractor fan cover and the little bit of guttering over the top so it's had a bit of damage but nothing that we can't fix chassis standard painted chassis as you can see just standard painted you've got a bit of surface rust on there but the metal itself is absolutely fine solid so nothing to worry about there so that has been our Pemberton Elite 28 by 12 two bed from 2005 it's got double glazing it's got electric panel heaters it's priced at 9950 got any questions at all give us a shout uh, until next time I'll speak to you again